and this is a quick tutorial on how to implement a countdown but with an animated fade effect so here is an example I'm just going to screen tap three two one and something happens at the end so in this case an image appears um, so let's jump into it you can find the example projects and the subgraph in the description it's all on my gumroad shop so you can download them there don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel for more tutorials so let's try and recreate this to recreate this we click on this add button we need a 2d image so screen image so we'll add that screen image in um, we just leave it like this for now um, and then we will add the um, texture sequence of the numbers so you can see with the numbers I have labeled them backwards so 3 is 0, 2 is 1 and 1 is 2 so that um, this is because the add texture sequence reads 0, 1, 2 in that order so open that and this is the texture sequence we'll just call this countdown so we create another screen image and just duplicate this for now we'll call this um, we'll call this picture or we'll just call this result so that that is what is going to show at the end um, let's import an image I've just dragged this image from the from my gallery but you can add an image anyway by either dragging it from your gallery to effect house or you can go to import from computer and choose where and choose where the image is located so let me just name this result so we know what we're working with after that I'm just gonna attach the image here by clicking it and double clicking results so this is what will show at the end when the countdown finishes so what I will do is I will just go to stretch mode select fill so that it fills the screen right so I have created a subgraph that actually um, makes the countdown job a lot easier so to import that subgraph I will just go to the subgraph button here click on that select import to import it I have imported it anyway so I'm just going to go here and drag it to this window and then close this so this is the subgraft it looks complicated but it's actually just the extra ports that are here so that it makes it easier for everyone to add the outputs um, so what it is just double click to show you inside and I will undock it just to show you what it looks like so maximize it by double clicking and then clicking this reset to make it go in the middle so essentially it is just a combination of transit by time nodes um, that are scaling it so this is scaling it changing the opacity um, and then scaling it again and changing the opacity so that's all it's doing it's just increasing it to a good size fading it out after some time and then resetting that so that you can it can go again so this quickly as you can see it's 0 0.05 seconds it quickly 
scales it back to zero after it has faded out and it also quickly resets the opacity back to one as you can see here um, so yeah click around double click the subgraph have a look at it see how it all works this section here um, essentially um, takes care of the animation sequence so um, after it goes through a whole transition of fading in and out and scaling it then um, selects uses a counter to move the um, animation forward so it moves it forwards and then when it is three so when it goes three two one and on the next trigger when it's equals to three it then hides the animation number fade animation sequence and it also switches off this loop so it goes here to switch off the loop so that it stops running all this happens um, the fade in for each number happens within a second um, and then it trick and then it triggers the next number to appear from this line as you see here it increases um, I also put a reset node let's go back out I put a reset node so in case you have an effect that has a try again button or you want to reset your whole effect you can plug in a reset here and it will enable you to go through the animation again it resets the animation and then waits for you to trigger it so that it you know the animation countdown starts right so let's plug it all in now I will I'll go here <clears throat> so what do we need I will um, add a screen tap screen tap here just to trigger it using screen tap for now you can ignore this enable button it's not connected to anything it's just in case you want to disable or enable um, this subgraft you can and open it up you can go here and connect and if node and you can connect this trigger to it and click the true output to the other um, if node here so essentially it just stops it from triggering so you can do that if you if you want to um, so we'll leave that on the starting scale so we want the um, countdown animation to be at 0.3 to start to zoom in at 0 0.3 animation sequence so this screen image and what we do we need to add an animation sequence to it we need to add this countdown to it so go to add components animation and animation sequence when it is added um, you will for the texture sequence let's add the countdown and for texture binding we leave it at none loop once fps one and disable autoplay right so now this is done this is the let's let's name this countdown so we don't get confused So this is the countdown image. We click on that, go to the animation sequence, click on this and get animation. And this animation is added to the animation sequence input. And um, the image scene objects, we just 
drag this countdown here and we add this to this input right so this section that left hand side should be done for the right hand side so we set we have to add scale and opacity so for the countdown we go to scale set scale and connect this outputs we go to opacity and set opacity and add these outputs because it's basically a duplicate we can just select these copy paste and connect these ones and opacity connected right so we're halfway there I'm going to move this up and what I'm going to do is for the end pulse, the end pulse you can use to trigger anything so we want to reveal this image here so I will just use a transit by time just to fade in the opacity from 0 to 1 for a duration of let's say 0.4 seconds and we go to the result which is this image here and we click on the opacity set opacity and we click on the stay execute and the number right so let's add a start node here this start node will just trigger this the opacity for the results because it starts at zero we also want it to to be at zero so there we go right and that hides it so we have got the end result here in case you have a boolean to trigger there is also a boolean output here and that triggers when the countdown finishes um, initial value so we set the scale to zero so that it starts small set scale to zero so this is for the initial values so you see it's disappeared and we also want to fit it to so we can also use stretch mode and select fill don't have to do it but it's just an optional an optional thing for this stretch mode right so everything should be connected now and that is everything connected and we can test it out so we tap on the screen three two one and this image shows up so that is just a quick tutorial on how to use the or implement a countdown but in a faded animated way for your different projects if you want to adjust the size of the um, countdown all you do is you adjust this let's say to 0.2 and it can become it will be a lot smaller so we just reset it restart the effect I mean by clicking on this button and tap and you see it's a little bit smaller and you can still go to this panel here select countdown and you can move it 
you can move the countdown anywhere you want so let's say we move it down we reset it again just to test it and you see three two one it's all at the bottom here so I move this back right so that is how to do the animation countdown number fade effects any questions leave them in the discord or in the comments below and i'll try my best to answer thanks for watching